the first Homo species, Homo habilis, lived approximately one, two million years ago. The differentiation in behavior from its primate ancestors happened due to changes occurring in Africa. In the African terrain, plants became less abundant, spreading across vast areas. This meant constantly being on the move to find the sustenance. Constantly shifting for food also meant needing protection. That's why moving in herds during long journeys was more advantageous than being solitary prey in the vast savanna. Additionally, hunting in groups meant the ability to prey on other larger species. This situation provided Homo habilis with the opportunity to hunt large herbivores, departing from their ancestors' solely plant-based diet. Thus, the primary source of sustenance for Homo habilis became meat. This shift also led to certain physical changes. Over thousands of years, Homo habilis' teeth became sharper and their gait became more upright. Also, anatomical changes in their feet allowed them to travel longer distances and hunt. However, even with these advancements, Homo habilis couldn't leave the African continent. The first species to achieve this feat was Homo erectus. Around 1.9 million years ago, towards the end of Homo habilis' era, Homo erectus emerged. The brain of Homo erectus was approximately twice the size of Homo habilis. A growing brain contains more neurons and nerve cells, leading to more complex cognitive abilities and increased levels of intelligence. However, a larger brain also demanded more energy, about 45% more energy compared to their ancestors. This increased energy demand somehow compelled Homo erectus to venture outside Africa. Also, this species was the first to discover fire. Moreover, Homo erectus used fire to cook their prey. Cooking meat enabled faster digestion, resulting in obtaining more energy from the meat. Additionally, the discovery of fire helped cleanse harmful bacteria from the meat. Also, Homo erectus developed cutting tools inherited from their ancestors, facilitating hunting. These advancements led to the establishment of a more robust social structure. Their distinctively developed softer social structure allowed them to travel in herds for extended periods, enabling more efficient hunting. Homo erectus, thriving for over a million years, inevitably underwent divergence. It is believed that around 700,000 to 300,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis emerged as a result of this prolonged existence. One of the most significant differentiating features of Homo heidelbergensis from Homo erectus was their advanced social interactions and intergroup communication. With a larger brain than Homo erectus, this species exhibited primitive examples of the hunter-gatherer lifestyle of Homo sapiens. Due to its relatively shorter existence compared to other species, the remains attributed to Homo heidelbergensis are much fewer naturally, consequently limiting our knowledge about it compared to other species. However, today we know this species as a common ancestor of both Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis. While the spread of Homo heidelbergensis in Europe facilitated the emergence of Neanderthals, those remaining in Africa contributed to the emergence of Homo sapiens. Homo neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens likely emerged within a close time frame and differed from each other in terms of both species and environmental conditions. Homo neanderthalensis displayed a superior manual dexterity compared to Homo sapiens, their flint tool techniques enabled them to create sharper and more lethal tools than their ancestors. In many ways, these human species resembled us. They had beliefs about life after death, possessed the developed artistic perceptions, and had a more advanced culinary culture compared to other Homo species. Also, they were intelligent enough to mix and create different flavors by blending their foods rather than consuming them raw. Having a culture was the most distinctive feature separating Homo neanderthalensis and Homo sapiens from other species. 
However, despite some advantages over Homo sapiens in certain aspects, they couldn't utilize their language as efficiently due to anatomical constraints and were not as creatively advanced as our species. While the exact reason for Neanderthal extinction remains unclear, there are several theories. One theory suggests that the Homo sapiens emerging from the African savannas might have contributed to the decline of Neanderthal lineage. Thus, Homo sapiens remained the only human species, 